Welcome now live. Go live, go live, checking connection. Well, oh, that's kind of weird. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome to Suck It Up Saturday. Barebones Kitchen. In Barebones Kitchen. Would you like to do my intro, Chad? Culinary Got coach. this fucking guy. Harmony. Tonight, I'm bartender Harmony. Thank you very much. You're still culinary coach, doesn't matter. Or oh, whatever. Whatever. I'm trying to get, I'm on obviously a different side of my kitchen and I didn't do a very good job of making sure that you guys could see stuff before I went live because I was busy with stuff. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. So excuse me while I adjust you all. Maybe, maybe good enough. Okay. You guys can see me. That's all I care about. If you can see me. Hello, everybody. Hello, I see Vanessa and maybe Jennifer Lee and Sue. Maybe, if I can see that far with my old and busted eyes, my old and busted self. So tonight, I was going to do a regular mojito and realized I don't have enough rum, but for maybe one drink. And since I have Chad here, that's not going to work. So we're going to have to do something different, and we're going to put the lime in the coconut, which is actually what I was going to do initially then changed it to regular and then went back because I'm a fucking female and that's how I roll. So we're using some coconut Captain Morgans. Lime in the coconut. See, we got some mint leaves. Um, I just have one sprig. I actually have like a whole bucket of them, but uh, yeah, I just pulled out one sprig. So we got some, some mint leaves. I got some limes and you can use seltzer water or I don't know, some other kind of water. I'm using a lemon flavored because they didn't have lime. They have raspberry lime. I bought raspberry lime, but I just grabbed a lemon one. So that's what I'm using, and that's how I'm rolling. So let's get this road on the show. Cheers, guys. I just need to take a sip of this. I'm feeling a little parched, so got to take a sip of it. All right, so I got my limes. Remember, if you roll them on a hard surface, you can get the little pieces in there to break apart. We're just going to cut this in half because we actually just want the lime juice. So, oh, my knife is not sharp at all. Not sharp at all. I very rarely use that one, but oh well. All right, we got our five mint leaves. And we're going to put them in our shaker cup, okay? And we're going to muddle them. That's what it's called, muddling. So, basically, you're just taking, a, like, something really solid. I have, I don't have a little muddler. They actually sell, like, a little, it looks like a little bat. Um, but I don't have one of those. So I had to use my little meat tenderizer, which is metal, so it should be okay. So I don't like the sound of it on there. And we're basically just breaking the, the mint leaves apart. Let's see, gets it all mushy like that. Let's see? And this is gonna be a good summer one, guys. This is gonna be a chill summer drink. So then it kind of gets all, all, all squishy in there. We're going to throw some ice in this bianch. Do some squeeze a lot, a squeeze of lime. I'm just going to do the whole thing because I don't know. I'm feeling kind of saucy like that right now. Chad got me all in an uproar and pissing me off when he got here, so. good at that. Yeah, sometimes you are good at that. Sometimes I'm just grumpy and I had a really long freaking week. I worked two days in a row this week, you guys. Just two. Just two days. I didn't get home until 11 o'clock both days, so p.m. That'd be 11 o'clock p.m. For those of you that know me, you know I'm up usually at 3.30 in the morning, between 3 and 3.30, 2.30 maybe sometimes. So that made for a long couple days. Then I got into a huge fight with my boss, like screaming, yelling fight. Didn't even know if I was going to have a job today, so that was exciting. All right, then we're going to do some simple syrup. Hello, Rhonda. A little bit of simple syrup. Basically, this is just sugar water. Let's, like, let's not slice it and dice it any other way. We're just going to do a small little shot of that. And then my hands are all limed up. We're going to add some of that coconut rum. I mean, if you're picky, do like two ounces, but I grew up near a bar called the Crippler. Actually, it's called the Clipper, but, you know, those of you that are locals know what I'm talking about. We don't do anything light around here. And then we're just going to shake her. Shake her up. 
with my cool Suck It Up Saturday shaker cup that Miss Gail from Sassy Sissy Boutique got me. Put a little ice in here. I don't know that I have much more ice to do here. That's okay. I'll make it work. Yeah, make it work. There we go. We got some ice. Dang it. I didn't shut my, my sounds off. All right. Oh, did I not? Oh, this one doesn't have that kind of lid. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. See, I don't even know how to use my damn shaker cup. How sad is that? And you could totally strain this if you're, like, particular about it. I'm not, so we've got about half of the way up here. You can see like the little bits of mint floating around. Maybe, maybe you can. I don't know. I can see it down on the Instagram, but I don't, can't really see it in the Facebook side. So I don't know. There's a little flex of mint floating around in there. Then we're just going to top it off with some of this seltzer water. And if you're feeling saucy, you could totally garnish it with another mint leaf or a slice of lime or whatever you want to do. Just you do you, boo boo. All right, Chad, you going to come over here and taste this? Sure. All right. Let the folks know. It's pretty good. You gonna get up in the screen and tell them? <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually pretty good. I don't like coconut, but it's actually pretty good. Can't do mint, she's allergic. Shocker, Rhonda, I've heard all the things you're allergic to. You could totally just omit the mint. You could absolutely omit that. You're so funny. Yeah, just be a real person and just drink it straight. Just be a real person and drink it straight. <laughs> ah, that's great. Good stuff. Your mom says, hey, Chadwick. Hi, Rhonda. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. <laughs> ah. All right, guys. So, trying to think. Gosh, I do have some prizes to give away, but I haven't thought of a way to give them away yet. I have some really awesome prizes, actually. I'm super excited to give them away. But, again, I haven't thought of a way to do that yet. Um, keep sharing, showing the love. I don't have any more ice in my little ice bucket. A couple drinks and that's it. I appreciate you all. I will be doing another event, though I'm not sure when. But I will be doing another one. That was a good time. I had lots of fun with some of my my friends that I haven't seen in quite a long time and some friends that I've known forever and yeah where are we we are in Olympia Washington well technically Lacey Washington Lacey Washington or is that what you're asking for like the the contest that seems like a lame contest Rhonda where are you at <laughs> We are in Lacey, Washington, near Olympia. Easier to say Olympia, but for people that really aren't from Washington, it's super easy, much easier to say Seattle. Because nobody knows where Olympia is, even though it's the capital city. But, you know, if you say Seattle, everybody knows where Seattle is, right? So, most of us from the Puget Sound, like the South Puget Sound, we just say Seattle because it's easier. It's easier. And if you just say Washington, people are like, Washington, D.C.? If I freaking lived in Washington, D.C., don't you think I'd say Washington, D.C.? Duh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So I'm, I apologize, side note, for not having Bear Bones Kitchen on Wednesday. That was actually the first night I went out and did not get done until 11 o'clock at night. Um, I will be hopefully doing Monday Morsels this week. Uh, it obviously depends on my just over broke job, which is always fun and exciting. That's very refreshing. I think it could use a little more wine, though. A little more alcohol. Well, maybe I poured mine a little heavier than I poured yours. Um, I don't know. Maybe. But Probably. the coconut's super subtle. So, that could be. Yeah, the coconut. Because I didn't skimp not, on it. Yeah, the coconut's Sorry, not Sorry, guys. Bad sidetracked. Anyways. Whose kitchen? Oh, I'm in my kitchen. I'm just in a different part of my kitchen. Just on the other side of my kitchen. I usually do over by my stove, but I thought since my bar was over here and my ice machine was over here, it would be a lot easier to do 
uh, suck it up Saturday by my liquor and my ice. That's, that's all. I just thought it would be easier. So it was a little bit tricky though, because this is sort of a dark part of my kitchen. So that's why it's such a weird angle. And yeah, yeah. Anyways, so I don't want to talk your guys' faces off, but we're talking your faces off anyways. Um, so I will see you guys on Monday for Monday Morsels. Obviously not sure what I'm going to make yet. Don't know if I'll even be able to to do Monday morsels because of work lately, being short staffed, they are finally training some people, which is nice. Uh, that was part of my frustration with the yelling with the boss. So yeah, um, still can't upload YouTube videos. I'm going to have to figure something out. They have, I have been saving them on Facebook when they're popping up for expiration. So if you have missed something in the last couple of weeks, they should be on my Facebook timeline. If not, they're on my Instagram timeline. I don't know when they, if they expire on Instagram. I don't know because I'm kind of a tech idiot when it comes to that. But anything before the last probably like two months is all going to be on my YouTube channel. So make sure you go subscribe to that and share things, guys. I depend on you for word of mouth for me. And I love that you guys are also supportive because it's just awesome and I appreciate it every single freaking day. Yeah. So I'm going to go enjoy this uh, lime and the coconut mojito and I will see you all hopefully on Monday. Thank you. You want to say goodbye, Chad? Bye. Bye.